Something I'm very passionate about is talking about women in surgery delaying family planning. It's a very, very sad and terrible situation that even today, women in surgery delay their family planning, delay having kids if they want kids, if they want a family, until sometimes it is very late and it becomes a struggle to then start a family. Something I'm very passionate about is trying to tell my younger colleagues don't wait for the perfect time. If you are wanting to start a family, if you want children, don't wait until there's a great time because there's no perfect time. As a woman in surgery myself, this is still a very male-dominated field. Even though we're getting better, we're having more women come into the field and we're changing things up, yet it's still frowned upon. It's still not easy to start a family. You know, when, you, when you're in medical school, all you're thinking about is to get through medical school, get to the next step, get into residency, and you don't even know where you're going to match. Are you going to still be in the same state? Are you going to be somewhere else? It's difficult to plan. Then you start as a resident. You're finally in your dream residency. Is it good to start having a family as an intern? No, it's frowned upon. Let me finish my intern year. Then become a junior resident. And of course, as a junior resident, you don't want to you know, shake things up and you wait till you're a senior. Once you're a senior resident, you're supervising your junior residents. So you, you don't want to be a leader who is pregnant, has a baby, may need maternity leave. So it's not a great time. Then you become a chief resident. Of course, that's not a great time. Then you become a fellow. After fellowship, you start your first year as an attending. And then suddenly you're in your 40s and you are looking at IVF and you know fertility treatments. It's just an evil cycle. If you are planning to have babies, you just have to think about yourself, think about your life as a whole and go for it. Go for it because everyone else just has to live around it and deal with it because we are women. We need to not only think about our careers, but also think about our families and, uh, you know, society has to adapt to that.